Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not that real chair is letter. lopsided. It's not what? It's not a real letter, Rente. Pretend like it make Mr. Gatto happy. Okay, get the camera ready. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Okay. You know what my real name is. <laughs> what do I do now? Now you give your speech. That's not Trust funny. me, they'll grill you. These guys are... They're going to finish their photos. Yeah. So, um, Katie or Aaron, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, how, did, uh, how did this all come about at the University of Dallas? Um, the coach contacted me and Dallas is near my family, so I instantly jumped on that opportunity, and it just started rolling from then, and now here I am. When did the coach first contact you? Um, last year. Last year. The end of the season last year, okay. she got yeah. an email from her. Had you looked at the school originally, or how did they hear about you? Um, I think Can we answer that? How they how they hear about you? Yeah. Do, do you know? No. I put her on one of the um, when she was a freshman. I added her to one of the um, different um, recruiting websites that are out there. And you know, I didn't really sign up or anything. They they let you put your profile on for free. So I just did that. And the coach had uh, had looked at it and got her email from the website there. And so that's what I recommend to all my players' parents is that they go ahead and at least just put them on one of those. Websites. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was there any other interest you had from anywhere else? Or was this yeah, I got a couple. I got contacted by a couple other coaches from random schools in like West Virginia and I think Illinois, but they didn't really interest me as much as Dallas did. So, what, what family do you have in Dallas? Uh, basically everyone on my mom's side. So only like three hours, only three hours up the road. Uh, so like she, she said, her grandparents and uh, her sister goes to school at OU in Norman, so they'd be fairly close. So what are family reunions like? Like someone going to school in Norman, you know, going to school in Texas? I can't. I can't, can't be, too be much good, fun. can it? <laughs> Thank goodness it's not University of Texas, <laughs> because my family's a big OU fans, and that could cause problems. But I don't think she's in tune to any of that stuff. Okay. So, University of Dallas is a nice little campus um, in the middle of Irving, and uh, we did go there in November and got a tour of the campus. And she met several players on the team and met the coach and had quite a pretty good little interview session, I think. And um, one of the things she liked about it was the high academic standards that they have there. And they have a big, strong program in the pre-medicine careers, and she's interested in pharmacy. So I think that's what kind of hooked her. What impressed you about the coaches and the players when you met them? I mean, what, what made them stand out to the point that you said, OK, I want to go to school here and I want to play for this team? Um, the coaches. The coach, she actually played Division Two ball, and she's fairly younger. And I sat in on a practice, and I really liked the way she administered the practice and ran it. And she was very compatible with. And the players, they all were basically like a family, and they said they did almost everything together. And it just seemed like a really good atmosphere to be in and they they were really easy to click with like right off the bat. I looked at their roster when I did research and I noticed that they had a lot of freshmen I think like half of the yeah. roster was freshmen. So did that factor into your decision? I mean how was it what does it mean to come into a program like that was that was young this season? Um I think it's almost kind of the same as Ileson because we're usually a younger team or a new team, and so I can kind of, I'm already used to it, but it didn't really affect my decision at all. I just saw it. She told me that she's just trying to recruit as many as possible because usually people will like 
end up not wanting to complete the whole season because of various reasons, but yeah, I think it didn't really affect my decision. As far as on the court, uh, Kate, I guess what do you think is, could be your strength in, you know, going on to, the, to that program that you've seen a player, you've kind of seen a practice play game? Um, my, my shooting is going to help them a lot because she specifically told me she was looking for outside shooters and when she saw my video she said that's what really sparked her interest in me is because of my outside range that I have. Uh, Coach, uh, I guess what's it like to kind of your daughter throughout <laughs> high school and now she's moving on I guess what's, I think what's we started when you? she was in first grade <laughs> um in the in the youth programs what's it like to coach her well at um, least yeah let's see her get to this point well I, I I know how hard she's worked you know being her mom and her coach I know how hard she works in practice but I also know what she what she's put into it outside of the season and so I I'm very excited to see this opportunity so that she has all that hard work pay off for her. And I think that that's a good lesson. Try to teach everybody the harder you work, the more good things will happen. Besides her outside shooting, what else does she have working in her favor that can translate to the, uh, the transition to the college game? Well, I think that um, they're looking at her as a two guard, which she didn't really get to play much for me. She wound up having to like take on a lot of the point guard responsibilities, um, not constantly, but um, depending on who was in the game and what the situation was. So not only can she, you know, shoot a, a three or a two, and a lot of her twos this year were like toes on the line, should have been threes if she'd have just stepped back a little bit. Um, she, um, but she can, you know, handle the ball and she can drive the basket. And um, her defense has improved quite a bit. And I told the coach that, you know, I was, I was really pleased with how much her defense had improved, but it still has a long ways to go. And it didn't bother her one bit. She said that that they'll, they'll fit her right into the program. Kenya, you're looking at stepping like that immediately or what you've heard just to kind of sit back and learn and, and like them gradually bring you in? Well, how would you like that first season to be? Um, honestly, I want to see how it goes. I um, am going to go in there in September when school starts and try and learn the team right away and what they do and then if she wants to throw me in at the beginning of the season, then I'll take the challenge. I don't mind at all. How tall are you now? I'm about 5'5". Five five. Are you 18 or 17? I'm 18. What were your stats for this year? Uh, gosh. Well, I know she led the team in assists. And she, she averaged a couple assists in a game. Um, she averaged um, 9.8 points and uh, a couple of rebounds a game, a couple of steals a game. She was right up there in the top. She was the best free throw shooter we had. What was it, 74%? I think so. 74%, I think, is what she shot from the free throw line. Uh, shot um, in the 30s from the three point line, which was the best for us. So. Um, you know, not great stats, but not bad stats, and, and I, well, you know, I, I mean, she was right there with everything else, but they, you know, one thing that, that she did do was, like, play with her team, and I, you know, that, that's, that was what pleased me, is, like, she didn't say, well, you know, I'm the coach's daughter, I'm the best ball player, I'm going to go out here and do this and that and the others, like, she ran the offense and played the defense, and you know, played with, with her teammates, and they all played really well together. So I have no complaints about our season at all this year because of that. I guess last, I guess last question for me. I guess going to the senior year, like you said, given that you guys have a lot of turnover every year, you kind of see yourself as, uh, I guess, one of the leaders coming in. You know, the senior year is really going to help you know, go to the next level. Yeah, I think so because this year we actually had more returners than we usually do and that actually helped a lot and I think sh like I took more of a leadership role this year than I have in the past and I think that'll help 
in college ball because then I'll have more confidence going in. And I know that I won't be a leader there, but I think it'll help in building up my leadership abilities when I get there. How would you describe the type of leader you are? Are you more of a leader by example or more of a local leader or a combination of them? Um, I try to be a combination of them because you can't just be a vocal leader because if if you're just telling people what to do, they're not going to want to do it. But if you're leading by what you're doing and people see you doing what you should be doing, then they're going to eventually try and follow in instead of just being like, oh, she's just telling us, yelling at us to do something. We're not going to listen. Uh, Dad, what's your Greg. Greg. Um, well, I guess just last, last question, I guess. Uh, seeing, seeing their relationship over the years, you know, in basketball and now, especially going out to college, I guess, from your vantage point, you know, I guess what does this day mean for, for you and Katie and for the privilege of I couldn't be prouder. I mean, it was really special watching, uh, you know, uh, my wife being able to coach our daughter for four years, and you know, I've watched her grow up basically since second grade when she played across the street in, at the youth center playing basketball and you know playing t-ball in town and things like that, and just uh, all the sports and all the time and hard work she's put into uh, into sports and her athletics um, is finally paid off for, and she's getting a chance to play at the next level. And uh, even more than that, I'm proud of her academics. Um, it's a very, very solid uh, academic school, and uh, it's going to enable her to springboard into, you know, whatever career field she wants to choose to pursue. Hey, what's your GPA right um, My my current GPA or my cumulative? Cumulative. Um, it's a uh, three point nine, I think. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you.